All right, I'm looking here on page L of your homework that you're going to do from this section. By the way, notice over here it says, assume the pressure remains constant for these problems. Don't forget to convert temperature to Kelvin. Yes, very important. Okay, let's look over here on page L. I just want to point out, notice in the first problem it says a pressure of 5,500 TOR, T-O-R-R. -R. The next problem, the pressure is in atmospheres, 2.4. And the next one is um, atmospheres. Next one's TOR, okay? So it could be either way. Um, whatever they give you for the number that you're solving with, and your answer will come out in the same units. That's just all you have to know. Oh, which one should we do? All right, vote on it. Tell me which one you want to do. Do you want to do 49, 50, 51, 52, 53? No, we're not doing all of them. I'm going to choose one. Okay, I'm watching. I'm looking. Okay, I think I see more votes for 51 than any of the others. And that one's right in the middle. So we'll choose that one. During a cryogenic experiment, a sample of gas with a temperature of zero was cooled to negative 123 and a pressure of one atmosphere. So let's list what we know here. We have P1, V1, T1, P2, V2, T2. Sample gas with a temperature of zero degrees Celsius was cooled to negative 123 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 1.0 atmospheres. Guess what? It doesn't say anything about volume. Ah, so that tells us that we can take the volume out. And pressure 1, in this case, is what we're actually solving for. It says, what was the original pressure? Let's see if we can remember our formula. P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. Now since the volume is not given and we're not asked to solve for it, we can just take that right out of our formula and just ignore it because it's being held constant. By the way, if we are holding the volume constant, do you remember which law that would be? Pressure was Charlie Brown, that was Charles. Temperature is Boyle, so V is Gay-Lussac's law. So this is, we're using Gay-Lussac's law to solve this. Um, I can easily plug that in. We need to do something with the temperatures though, remember? We're going to add 273, so that makes this one 273 Kelvin. And then add 273 to negative 123. So that changes to 150 Kelvin. All right, so let's plug these in. T2, 150, P2, 1.0, T1, 273, and P1 is what we don't know. Now, do you remember from math classes that uh, you've had before? How do we solve when we have a ratio? Cross multiply, okay? And then divide by this side. Or you want to think of it this way, the cross products are equal. So 150 P1 equals 273 times 1, which is 273. And then the last step would be divide by 150. So P1 equals, ha! I'm not doing it for you. <clears throat> you finish the problem. Since so it's pressure, what units will you use? Well, could be atmospheres, could be tor, could be a few other possibilities. But in this case, because it was given here in atmospheres, then our answer here will come out in atmospheres. Okay? All right. Hopefully walking through these steps will help you, even in solving the other ones on this page and the previous page. I always encourage students to write down all six variables, read the problem and see which numbers go where, convert the temperature. If we can skip one, hey, pull that out. Write down the combined gas law, and if we're skipping one, pull that out. And whatever's left 
you can just plug in and solve. All right.